and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now. Now, I have not done one of these, as far as you guys know, since before Most Feared. So, obviously, I have ways of making coins in Most Feared, and I can go over not exactly methods, but my best routes to take in Most Feared with your coins, because you know how we know how we like to do around here. Efficiency is key. Not losing coins in stupid places is key. Yeah. Real quick, guys, I can't believe I forgot my intro. So real quick, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. If you haven't already, make sure to enter the day-long giveaway that I've been doing for the last few days. It will end tomorrow, so winners will be announced Monday morning, most likely. I don't think we're going to hit any of them, but if we do, if we do, even more. But if we don't, I'll still give away to you guys for showing all the crazy support as of lately. But to make sure you're entered, like, hit the like button and comment down below so I can see your comment, so I can poll it at some point. So comment down below 50k. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on that noti bell, guys. So... I'm gonna keep you guys updated on some most of your prices, some ways I'm, I plan on going about making coins. I'm hinted at a few things, but a few of these things are big enough that I might end up making a separate video on them, such as my favorite set in the game that you guys should have seen that uh, that already. If you guys have been following the channel, you already know what my favorite set is. But I'll be going over all that in depth. So as you guys know, I have 1.3 million coins right now. I have spent quite a few. I picked up a few new players today. I'm um, trying to compete in weekend league, obviously. But as far as coins go, guys, as far as making coins, there's a lot to be doing right now. So make sure you're getting your, your weekend league done. Weekend League, you know how much time left tomorrow, Sunday. Get your rewards for that. But it's stressful. We also have these solo challenges to be playing, guys. And to save a ton of coins here, make sure you're playing your daily solos real quick, just to get that out of the way. Most feared, come over to the Cauldron. Keep replaying it over and over again. You can play it 10 times a day. It gives you free bats and pieces. If you get enough pieces, you can build Michael Thomas, Vita Vey, or Anthony Barr. Or the bats, which gives you free bats, which saves you on coins for bats. Which maybe if you save up enough, you can end up getting some useful out of it to, make back, to get some coins back. But besides that... Make sure you're playing your house rules. House rules gives you coins, trophies, and inevitably, or eventually, if you play it all the way, a free player, which is going to be go a long way in getting some coins. So, one of the best tips I have right now, which I already went over in that set video, I'm just gonna quickly skim over it before I get into all the market stuff. Uh, if you go over to Masters, this set right here is my favorite set in the game. Every year I tell you guys, my favorite set I look forward to every year is a Master set where you get the Master and all the cards back Nat, you keep the Nat card, you sell the Master. So there's so many ways to make coins. If you get your free house rules player, I'm gonna make a separate video on all this. I made the best set in the game. I'm gonna do all the math breakdown in a separate video. Because that's a whole video in itself. But if you break it down, right? You got a free house rules player, that's one. You buy both these cards right now. Let's see what they're going for. Someone's angry out there. But sorry. I'll keep that in there so you guys can see that. But they go for about 260 each. You can get them for about 240 if you snipe them at the right time. Probably come about 580 for two of these cards. Ray Lewis sells for 430, 440. If you sell them for 440, you get back 400k. You lose 180,000 coins, but you get back Earl Thomas Nat, Cam Newton Nat, Tyler Lockett Nat. Guys, I think one of the best places to put your coins right now is in this set. So, in theory, you're getting three 92 overall cards for 180k. Come on, guys. You guys at the moment could buy 89 overalls to 90 overalls for 180k. Only one of them. You're getting three of some of the best rated overall cards in the game. Not that they're the best. I don't think Cam Newton is that great. But you're getting three top overall cards in the game for 180k. I think that's worth it. Even though they're not, I don't really care. And then if you really want to make some coins back, you just quick sell all of them. Let's say you really want to make coins back, right? You sell you sell Ray Lewis, you have 180k. You could then quick sell them and you could get all their bats. And you could actually use those bats to go to the store and get one of the master ones for 47,000 plus some 80 ones or whatever. You could make back like 350k. So you would actually end up making like 170k profit which i'll go over in its own video in itself i'll go over all that guys if you want to get coins back on your nat cards i'll be covering all that don't worry but for the most part make sure you're looking at the set there's so many ways to go with this set or for me personally i plan to do this set and probably keep ray lewis i don't know i'll end up keeping probably lock it and ray lewis probably sell the other two and then just get coins back on them i'll be going over all that in that other video though but just make sure you're checking the set out you can either keep the nats sell ray lewis you could keep Ray Lewis, sell the Nats back. Either way, you pretty much get a very efficient amount of players. You get either a lot of players for little coins or a really good player for little coins. Either way, I think it's a win-win for the most part. Now, for all you guys, so I'm going to start off here. So if you don't have a lot of coins right now, don't be investing too heavily in players. Now, remember, if this is like the Christmas promo, at first the Christmas promo, no one took Snowflake seriously. And then they dropped the Blitz. And they dropped three rolls and all of a sudden presents and then all of a sudden 
snowflakes when let's say snowflakes are worth a dollar right each snowflake by the time the re-rolls and the christmas presents and everything was out oh snowflakes are worth twenty dollars per they trade they, 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 they 20 times in value so just make sure you're staying on top of that guys so i don't want to recommend you invest in these cards just yet if they get to 220 maybe maybe i just wouldn't be i maybe just don't start selling all your halloween cards maybe keep a few for stock because if they really let's say they do a blitz on halloween night they do a blitz and they give you like platinum card quick sells using bats they're gonna skyrocket these cards right here will go for 400 a piece and so will ray lewis so ray lewis probably skyrocket up a ton too it's like 800k so just stay on top of that just quick little advice in case you guys i'm not saying do that i'm just saying if you have the coins to spare and you have the cards right i'm not saying go out and get them but like i have ray lewis my team i'm gonna use them anyways so hold on to them like that that's that's the beauty of that set right you end up with three knack cards if the bats come out you need the bats quick sell them use the bats you need you have ray lewis i'm using ray lewis my team if bats if i need the bats i'll quick sell them and just buy them back later i'm just saying be wary of it they typically get a little they get a little risky with these currencies sometimes and those who weren't ready for it yesterday, I told you I made 10 million coins during, during Christmas. In presents, re-rolls, and just investing in low snow beasts, and then they tripling in price. Just saying, stay on top of that. That's just some good advice I got for you guys right there. I'm not saying invest in anything, just be on top of it. Because I don't think this is like, I don't, the promo's not even done. We still have another two things. We still have, we already have the uh, the set for Scary Strong. We still have the, the Sharp and the Speed. So we still got those two guys still coming. So we still got, there's only a third of the promo. We got plenty more, so don't in essence don't put all your eggs in one basket don't spend all your coins on most of your debt that's why i'm holding plenty of coins just picking up some things from weekend league i needed some pieces for my team but don't put all your basket all your eggs in one basket because inevitably if new things come out for the rest of this promo and all your coins are all you all you spend all your coins on cam newton earl thomas ray lewis and everything then you're gonna be very disappointed when new better cards come out during this promo that you can't get involved with now as far as lower cards i'll go over this in a market video but definitely be picking up some lower cards if you want them. Don't don't pick them up. They're not again. These aren't investments. These are good values. 90 overall mud heroes for, for 150k. Not a bad value at all. Honestly, probably a pretty decent, probably a pretty good training value to be quite honest with you guys. I'm just putting it out there. Training's pretty cheap right now. If you wanted to dot the high tower, boy to Witten and Evans. Obviously, the worst ones are the cheap ones. But like even to yesterday, I picked up J I picked up Jalen Ramsey for 185k. Let's see what he's at now. Okay, it's not really showing too well. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's search it out. Just stay on top of it is what I'm saying. Because with all these new cards coming out, I don't know what it is with promos. People lose, like, IQ points during promos when it comes to selling cards. Like, Ramsey, I sold him for 315k, like, a week ago. Not even, a few days ago. He was really expensive at night. I sold him for 315. I bought him back yesterday for 185. If you just sit here and watch Ramsey, you can see him dip down to 180k at times when new packs drop, when the next most feared things drop. Because people want to get their coins to go buy packs. People love buying packs. I don't know why, but they do. So I'm just saying, stay on top of it. There's so many good ways to make coins right now. Such as Ramsey. I sold him for 315, bought him back for 185. About 100K profit right there. That I, I, I saved 100K coins. And now if I sell him back for 230, 20K reduction, I make 30K again. So I made about 130K in my eyes. So I'm just saying, stay on top of that. Don't, don't be... Don't be sleeping on the mud heroes. They're still useful cards. They're still some of the best cards in the game. All I'm saying is I wouldn't use them as an investment. I would use them as a sniping opportunity. Don't buy them thinking they're going to go up a lot. They probably won't. Unless they introduce a most feared bat slash training thing, but it'll probably be around bats. So when it comes to investment opportunities, definitely stay staring at the most feared cards. Oh, and another thing. Guys, Legends right now. Legend Sat Next Legend Saturday. With a little most feared action with the part two it's gonna be crazy cheap look at that john elway 149k i i can't even fathom how cheap this stuff is steve young 174 willie brown one of the best cornerbacks still in the game super cheap what i did right now i picked up a few guys i picked up i, I picked up brian dawkins for about i believe it was 205 maybe a little cheaper because he's an awesome safety still until sean taylor comes out he's still gonna be the best safety in the game in my eyes zone hip power and everything and you can get it for pretty cheap i'm just saying guys do not forget about older cards See, that's what people do right they all they're still, everyone's so focused on most feared everyone forgets about the, all the, the little guys we have to remember that the reason everyone's so focused you gotta go out of the box right if everyone's on most feared it's gonna be very hard to make coins everyone's sniping those cards you come outside the box to legends trust me picked up anthony munoz for like 185 today he usually goes for 230 Picked up Dawkins for I think maybe 205, maybe even 195. It was pretty cheap. Again, I could always, if I don't want him, I could always sell him. At some point when he goes back up, he's ready to 40. 
or I could wait to the middle of the week to sell them, or I could just use them. I'm using them for now. He'll win me weekend league, and then I'll sell them off. Trust me, there's so many good opportunities. Stay on here because no one's looking at legends right now. All everyone's doing right now is selling all the legends. Like they want coins, like crack addicts. They want coins for most fear, coins for most fear, packs, 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 bats, bats, bats. Cam Newton, Cam Newton, Cam Newton. No one's focusing on the on the legends right now. So I'm just saying, stay on top of that because then when most fear is over. Some legends will just sit at their value. I'm not saying these are good investment opportunities. Again, again, I'd focus on them as sniping opportunities, not so much investment opportunities. Just to, And it's not so much sniping like you have to sit there for hours. Just keep in. You see that they're really low after legend packs. You just go back and like around Wednesday, middle of the week when everything's dead. No, no promos, no packs. Just put them on the auction block, make a quick 30K, get on out, and you can save all those coins up. Before you know it, it's Christmas time. You got a few million coins saved up, a few hundred thousand coins saved up. You go all in on Christmas and make back like I did last time. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. And don't forget, day-long giveaways. All you gotta do is like the video. If this video gets to 500 likes or any video today for the next, I think we're gonna end tomorrow. I will be giving away 50k, so just comment down below. Like the video, boys. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that noti bell, and comment down below what you guys are doing with your coins right now. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.